Alright, let's take a look at some of our talents here. Looks pretty standard. Um, oh, we are going for, yeah, we're definitely going for licking arm bills. Makes sense with the Maya. Uh, okay, and smooth moves. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, all looks pretty normal. Nothing strange. Rotom. I like that name. Let's take a look at our top lane here. So during this time, we will do what? That camp has already been cleared up, but they, uh, it seems are pretty even. We have a nice advantage here. Oh, and they're sticking us out, and look at this. They don't have four people, they know four people are there, so they pass out. Or maybe they don't know four people are there, but that was beautiful. I love that play from the room. Skipping out that and taking that camp. The shrine will be active soon. Prepare yourselves for the slaughter. Okay, so shrine is going to be popping the shrine phase in the top lane. Things are super even right now. I'm loving it. Phoenix and Dehaka. Dehaka is pushing that lane out a little bit further. Well, quite a lot of bit further, actually. I should say than Phoenix. Alright, so here's the thing that I love on Lubu's side. They just pop that camp and it's going to be right in time. However, it is going to the top lane and so it won't take too much for we boy Knights in order to move over there and grab it. Bob Blaze is taking quite a lot of damage. He's kind of in there by himself. So see, they can just clear this right here and they won't have to travel very far in order to get back up there. To get back up to the tank. I love Johanna's positioning right now. Fantastic positioning. She's sitting in a bush. She's not even moving. She's just being that anchor. And also the top that they're making sure it's like it's like guardians, you know? Making sure that no one gets by. But uh Kakido and Sina Sina area is put in there and starts looking on the side. The silence goes down. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, that's so fantastic! Look at that! He is body blocking her into the silence! Blizzard goes down and Vayner is now taking a lot of damage and she goes down. Three for zero. Oh, that was fantastic. I love to God plays. As long as he's not on the opposite team. Body blocked in the silence. Alright, so we're gonna see they're not they are going to be able to get seven, so we'll see if they want to engage we engage if we engage on this. And it looks like they do. Blaze is not there, so they're okay, they're pulling back, waiting for Blaze to get up there. And here we go. The silence goes down, and look the boop into the silence go down is just silence. You can't do anything, and there they go. Two down. This is before they even have heroics. What's gonna happen when they have a cage on top of that? I have a feeling we might see some super job bands. So, um, Alan did come to the bottom here, going to push out this lane and get some XP, try to, try to weaken the flow a little bit. The so first Punisher of the game goes over to Reborn Nice. That would have been awesome, but still really ugly. Yeah. So with the first Punisher, all you really want is to get some of that back up more. If you can get the first one, that's fantastic, but not necessary. That's kind of like an extra bonus. And yep, they did a really, really great defense, got it over the wall, and was able to clean that up so they weren't able to get a floor out. And the Hucka down here, uh, trying to get them closer to being level 10. So the Night Surge are going to get to them first. 
but it's going to be a while until the shrine pops, so uh, Lulu will be able to get get ten around the same time. Um, they're going to want to be careful, not take any uh, engagements, kind of just throw their own enemies here. Alright, and 10 is pop, so let's take a look at the ultimates. Like I thought, we have Warden Cage from Maya, Mosh Pit from ETC, Ring of Frost. Yep, you can see where this is going. But good drop from Blaze, and. Oh, we're gonna have Push Our Song. Master Shove from Stukov. Yep, so you can exactly see where this is going. We have a, a dance party cage with uh, icy lights. And I'm guessing Stukov is what? He's gotta be the jug or something. Stukov's thing has gotta be like the jug that you call when you're at a dance party. Alright. And, like I said, I'm uh, not too far behind. Look at that beautiful boat into the silence! What are you supposed to do with that? Oh, but look at that. He, oh, in a reach he grabs ETC with his tongue and they get two for zero! It was a beautiful start from Reborn Knights, but Tehaku was able to get out, and then instead of just running away, he just turns around and grabs ETC with his tongue, pulling him into the cannon shots and getting that kill. Now that they've secured this kill, they're coming over to this camp and taking their life out of this map. Alright, so we have our new ultimate here from Lucio. High five. Quickly state to an allied hero. Upon arrival, the ally is granted unstoppable for one second and is healed. Love it. And we have Horrify from Gorgam, Isolation from Jackal, Rainer is Raider from Rainer, and Lucid Shield from Johanna. Second shrine is about to pop. Everybody is up, and we are on equal talent tiers and pretty equal on level too. I'm really excited to see this. I don't think I've seen this ultimate in play yet, actually. So I'm excited to see this ultimate, but the Unstoppable is a fantastic choice considering what the other team has. All right, and look, here we go in. A Jasmine goes down, but is quickly interrupted by the Jolkama, and the cage comes down, silence on top of it, and Ring of Frost goes down, but my ass is taken down pretty early in that fight. Not going to try. Taking a little bit of damage. Bumper goes down. But they have to retreat. So beautiful, beautiful flank from Lulu. It was a really, really good attempt, though, from Three Boy Knights to get that to the comic. Comic was there with the leads into the silence. And, um, into the big across, and we didn't see it there. We did see what they're kind of looking to go for. <laughs> a Johanna, the Johanna Cabello was a perfect timing to pull that EDC out of his dance. Alright, second Punisher of the game goes over to Lou Boo. push, but on to Lucio, they actually have some time if they want to make something happen, but he's able to get back, and now he's, you know, he's here. Right, so we're just going to have a quick reset first port of the game, goes over to Lou Boo. Fantastic play from both teams here. And so equal, look at this, look at this, they're pretty much exactly the same here. That top fort take a little bit of damage during that fight, but the hack is here. So clean it up. We're gonna do a Yoshi. Slide goes down from EPC. Hook down Phoenix. Nope, but unstoppable pops out. Saying none of that good sir. None of that for you. I'm gonna move back and look like that Raynor was a little bit too far out, but he's 
That's fine. I saw those blue circles kind of starting to converge on him. He was like, no, not the, not the rainer. Man, look at how equal these teams are in levels. It's like exactly the same. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Rainer has got to be careful. That is not the spot. You do not want to be there. Oh, that was awful. But Ring of Frost goes, Ring of Frost hit. They're looking for another kill, but they just want to back out of here. You do not want to face check for the Rainer. And Pull comes out. Cage goes down and unstoppable from the Lucio, but he was just unstoppable does not stop the cage. You can't unstoppable through the cage. You are stuck in that cage. Until you break one bar and then go out of the same bar. You can't break the same bar. You have to break the same bar. For those of you wondering how to escape a cage. But this is specifically my ad's cage. So if you're ever stuck in my ad's cage, you gotta break through the same spot, friends. Okay, and look at this there. They are getting aggressive here. Raina again in not this, but she goes out, stop um disgusting him and stopping the gun from okay. Alright, here we go. The pocket is looking for that target. He doesn't want he doesn't want to go into the Well goes down. And nothing. But they were able to stop them from stealing that camp, so that is fantastic and a good boost. Alright, here we go. Third shine of the game. Both teams, so once again, very, very equal. It's uh, actually 8 to 3, even though 8 to 3 in kills, even though it feels like it's closer than that. Um, three more knights have gotten some great hits. Um, they just haven't done Alright, silence so goes. Isolation goes down when he's placed and pulled in. Uh, ETC is looking for that mod. ETC is looking for that mod. Highmaker is in the back trying to get some pace. Ring of Frost goes down. Raina is taking a lot of damage from that Dana in the back. However, he's in the back wave. Moshpit goes down, but Horrify on top of it instantly. He needs to be careful here. Hook that Phoenix and two for two right now. Two for two, but the pie maker is so low. 297 health. And the, set, the third punisher goes over to Lubu. In the midst of that fight, though, that camp was able to take that top four. But Gul'dan's gonna go over, clear that up, and they're going to push with this punisher. Most likely going to get this port, maybe. Although it's taking a lot of damage, and they don't exactly have everyone here, so it looks like they're not going to get this. But, you know, still though, they, they stopped the other team from getting it, and sometimes that's, you know, that's what friends. So, yep, Reward Knight's going to be able to clear this up just fine. Three teams to it, and they're able to save that port. So, right now, uh, super even. Look at how even this is. It's so wonderful. One port on both sides down. I'm guessing that this going to go to a late, late game fight is going to be the answer here. Oh, right, and they are definitely pushing in with this camp, which I love to see. We need those camps. They are, they are resources. And, oh, the silence goes down, but, uh, burrow, burrow. The camp is burrowing. And, the damage, look at this damage going out from those, those blades from my, uh, triple hits. And you just get reset after reset after reset. The pole goes down in the silence from the pole, and those blades doing so much damage! Actually, I want to take a look at that. Let's take a look at that damage right now for my ass. It's about equal, but, the, but you can see it, you can see it when she goes in, and everyone is just coming up there. It's just cute, 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 cute. Alright, so we're going 
I am, huh? I'm quiet compared to the game, huh? Well, let's move my microphone closer, shall we? Let's move my microphone closer and let's turn the game down, shall we? I know you guys want to hear my voice. Actually, it is a little flat. I'm having a hard time hearing myself, so hopefully that makes it a little better. Hopefully that makes it a little better. Like the sound of battle. I say that well done. Yeah, it, says, yeah. it should more be like, I like the sound of battle filling my eardrums. Look at that cute place. Wait, we're gonna zoom in on that. Ah, oh, no, I went away. Alright, so. Claim it next in my name. Phase. Reborn Knights is going to be level 20, and Mubu has a level to go. Mubu has a level to go. Rainer is down here working super hard on getting them that 20. They have 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6 seconds. They're definitely not going to get 20. So, are they going to make a stand here? They can see them on the top and they know that they're there. They need to be careful here though because 20 is a tough one. Alright, so look, look, they get some minions. They get some minions and then they back off. But they want, they do not want them to do this. I'm actually surprised to see people at night on a person. I love it. I love it. I want this. I want this. To, I want to play this kind of game where they are not twenty. They are not twenty, so they back off and they find every other available resource in order to get XP on this map. You do not lose this game until you lose your goal. Summon the Frozen Punisher. All right, and they are almost twenty, and with that, they should be able to make a pretty good defense. And look at that—that that. those camps that they got are pushing in. The the they got these camps instead of taking a stupid twenty versus not twenty battle. And these camps are doing some work. In fact, they might be doing some work. But if those camps are the key, I don't know if they're um, But they don't think they're doing some damage. Alright. Punisher is looking for some blood. That Punisher wants some Yoshi butt. Alright, so they're able to get that. And look at this. Now these guys are starting to deal damage to this keep. They need to send somebody back. I don't think these minions are going to be enough because there's a cat in there as well. Well, the minions might be enough. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested, though. They, oh, the push check, but it's a Johanna, so she should be okay. But look at that silence going down. Oh my gosh, the silence and the fear goes down. The fear was a beautiful fear. Hooked on Phoenix is taking so much damage. Everybody into the bunker because they're very low. But the silence was beautiful. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what Stukov can do for you. Did you ever want a creepy marine that turned into a zerg thing? Well, look no further, said Admiral Stuka. He can put those silences down. He can make it so the other team wants to die. Yeah. Play him now. Yeah. Ooh, and look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what place is going to be able to save it. Oh, the minion wave popped up here, though, right in time for the minion. And they did get two kills, but they're just not able to push in here and get this piece. <laughs> Let's just take a look at that. 125 health left on that for Keep building. Okay, no And they're able to get through the 
first keep of the game goes to Reborn Knights. I'm actually interested as to why they kind of backed away there. Blaze was back, I guess Blaze was kind of weak going to the group, so it was going to be 5 4 or 4 to 4. Look at this, you just want to breathe on it. This one over here. We have indestructible, which we did see execute. Uh, Contagion, Haunt, and House Party. I love I love Lucio's talent names. House Party, baby. Rejuvenescent. Red team has destroyed yeah. a fort. So, I, I'm kind of sad to see this because this is an arcane finisher. This is one of the, which is the best finisher in the game. And it's marching on a key, but they, they had to go back in order to deal with those small folks. And because of that, they pulled everybody back, which I love that they pulled everybody back, but it's really sad to see that um, the, the, the Arcane Punisher that just for like here, not getting as much love as he deserved. And Maya was taking a lot of damage from that Punisher, actually. But you can see that on um, great play um, on the side of Reborn Knight. As you will too. Look at how God, this is so close, and this is gonna come down to one battle. Red team has destroyed a fort. So close. That's why I love the name of this town is High Five, literally. So, because this 
there, if possible, I'd like to see them clear up this bottom lane and push it out as much as they can because when the next shrine pops, if that lane is pushed further out and um, it pushed further out, then the minions will be able to do a better job of helping the catapult stay further away from the floor, which is exactly what they're doing here. Exactly what they're doing here. They want to push this out as far as they can so that what so that they're the next shrine phase to get have a further way to travel. There's more minion waves in between the catapults and their core, so that something like a long team fight happening, Kata's coming on the core and they're not able to back, and Kata's winning the games does not happen. So now it's pushed out as far as they can push it out, so they have plenty of time, and they're also getting a Kata of their own, not as often because of the fort being down. Hicks needs to be careful here. If he gets slid on by that ETC, the silence is going to go down underneath it. Two goblins in the precarious place where it goes down, and Alan is taking all the damage with the silence. Look at the, the mosh pit on the, the mosh pit in the back on the Gravan, but Johanna is there with her thing. And Stukov, Stukov goes down, and that is the key to their their strategy here. Stukov. But Gozan is supposed to follow BDC. It's taking a lot of damage from that from that Nyab. Those Nyab blades going down. And three to one. Three to one. And if they can get another pick here, Lucio trying really hard to keep his team on top of that ETC. And actually, I missed this, but uh, the core took a little bit of damage here, so... This is, okay, so they're going for this counter. They're not going to make any cheeky plays here. Just being smart, going for the counter. Having the counter is be basically a 65 if everybody is up. Although it's a 65 with an AI who might want to play some of them not long. But still. Here we go. Red team has summoned a mortal punisher. What Reborn Knights needs to do is let the Punisher push in and take an attack behind the Punisher at the so they do not have a 6v5. This is exactly what they're doing. They're looking for that Gul'dan or that Lucio. They are looking for it in the back. That is exactly what they're doing. Look at this. Right away on top of that gold deck. So we send her down to me. Johanna. Cage goes down. The only person in that cage is Johanna, but Riddle stuff. And that Punisher, though, that Punisher was just a 30 minute game here. 30 minute game, that Punisher is just whacking. But I loved, I loved their attempt there. And I loved that they knew that is exactly what they had to do. All right. So, first game goes over to Lou Boo. But man, that was so close. So I'm going to message the teams and see what uh, Reborn Knights wants, and we'll be back.
Okay, so welcome back everybody. We have our second game, which is going to be on Dragonshire. I love seeing Dragonshire play it. I feel like Dragonshire is the hardest map. Well, Sky Temple is the hardest one for me. I just can't get my head around that one. Um, but Dragonshire is interesting because there's a lot of 1v1s, 2v1s, lots of rotations. Um, so it's, it's fun to see. Um, also, we're going to have to get a new goal here. We had cosplay today. You guys here. Um, I think we're going to do some um, ASMR stuff. I think it's going to be the next one. All right. So. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Six, seven, five, two, one. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dragonshire. Also, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how to, uh... What was that sound? Hey! Thank you! That was a weird cheer sound. Usually it goes... Stukov band now. That is what I want to see because Stukov was very integral to that last game. Ooh, they did not like those four fights, huh? Yeah, those four fights were fantastic. My Sylveon costume has little bells on the ears, so every time I move my head, my ears ring. Literally. Long discussion. Going down to the wire. Okay. So if they want Stukov, I'm here nope. to help. And they want that Jaina. Change is upon us. Before me. Ooh, and Diablo was able to get through. Diablo, not as good on this map as he is on Infernal Shrines, but he's still a beast. We'd probably be violating some copyright laws if we literally made a beast costume for Diablo. Alright, so next are we gonna see Suba? No! The Crusade we calls. my girl to actually both my favorite girls here. So now we just need a Chromie and I will be happy. No Chromie so far, I know. Really important on this map. 
being able to hold that shrine. Or you could just get on that shrine. And what's a good Cassia man? There must be a phenomenal Cassia player out there, isn't she? Time you're ready. For the best Tarave setups, um, also I'm interested to see what talent she goes because Spell Shield right now is not the best option. Um, stun, like the cleanse on the stuns, might be okay versus the Diablo and Dehaka. Um, and uh, once again, we have Lucio and Lucio. So we have battle. pretty much the same team coming out from Lulu here. Um, but they did get the Diablo, so they picked that one up. And we have Tychus and Imperius. Um, I like the Tychus. I am totally like the Tychus, especially with Diablo and Haka. Um, and Imperius is... Um, I, I, I don't really know if I have an opinion on the Imperius. I, I don't get him. I, I don't know if he needs a good solo laner. It's I'm assuming that he's, he's definitely going to be the solo laner. Um, versus Jakapa. And we have Junkrat. From VDC. Who was on the laner last game. So they switched it up a little bit there. Where are we? Only two Overwatch heroes, but it makes you feel like it's a very Overwatch game. We have a very Star Space game here going on. Lots of space. All right, here we go. Actually, I don't know if Overwatch is in space, but it's like the future, and space is in the future. I mean, space is in the future. It's in the present, but, you know. You know. Heroes, prepare for combat. All right, so here we go. Why is it? <laughs> I don't actually think you get XP during these games. Okay, so Reborn Knights. We have Souls Kiddo on Tarande, my beautiful Tarande. We have the Pie Maker on Tychus. Ten seconds. Skin. We have Rabbit Penguin on Jaina. We have Hope Down Phoenix on Imperius and Crafty four, Devil on three, two, Johanna. One. Give me some noise Unleash for Dragon. Or not Dragon. Nice. <laughs> nice to meet the dragons. That's fun. I knew there was my brain was hooking up there somewhere. All right, and on the side of the red team, we have Street Wing on Lucio. We have the beautiful Lucio for that one. BDD on Junk Rat. Alan picks up to his Dahaka. Bandit on Rainer, 45, plus him, and Makota on Diablo. Give me some future noise. Type 4, Lu Boo! And I'm going to go on again, but Tank is getting junk ratted into the wall. But look at that, I love it. He, <laughs> and he eats up his revives and tries to get Alan Hicks instead by throwing a grenade at him. It didn't quite work, but I love to be attacked. Bandit is also on the club horse. Everybody, everybody give. Bandit, a uh, club horse face. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a club horse face is, but club horse and skin face. You think yourself worthy to wield the Dragon Knight's power? Prove it. Take control of the shrines. I really have no idea what a club horse face is, but. Also, already loving that junk rat mine play from the very beginning. I'm I love seeing some junk rat. Capture the shrine. Inherit the dragon knight's power. 
and lay waste to this forsaken kingdom. And actually, they don't have to have that up there. They have junk rat, which is very interesting. What? Oh my gosh, this is a super early dragon man if they're able to get this. Wow! I guess that guy really wants to go to bed. Somebody has work in the hours. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Alright, so they bring the Dragon Knight up to the top. Fuck down Phoenix, kill bot. And my Mega once again getting bopped into an unhappy place. But that time he even get bopped into a wall, so he was able to get out of there just fine. Top the well, but down in the bottom, Jaina getting killed. I mean, I'm gonna even miss that one. I put some Dragon Knight on top here. Kind of popping back and forth here. I have seen enough. For now. All right, so they were. Oh, I love the spray drop there. Pleb spray drop. Who dropped that pleb spray? Somebody dropped the pleb spray. And, all right, we're continuing up to the camp here. And um, once again, they're both. It won't be long okay. before the shrines are ready for the taking. Love it, and making sure we get that spell shield guy out of the way makes it much easier to kill everything else. Control open. both shrines, and the Dragon Knight's power is yours. Mm, jump right up here. It's just a to play with this sport. There we got a little spike down here. Nope. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And we have to... Uh, where is the map? Not there. Red Team has destroyed a fort. We need to send this, we're about to get this, so I'm going to bring this up, I'm going to bring this girl in there. She's got them, she just needs to be burned. Wait, now it's not really needed. But they were going to kill the arm, stop that side, but now, remember, the hot dog walks with it, so we're going to go in right behind this to all the dirt people. Or he can go top. He he can he's such a hacker. He can basically do anything. He knows. Or the maybe he's going to do anything. But uh, Junkrat is actually taking quite a bit of damage from this Imperius here. That's gonna be a hard one. But ten is pop here and the crafty doesn't have the happiest of places, but he was. Oh my god, this is a fantastic slain. victory for a knight right now. He stood on that point, sacrificing his life in order to make sure that they kept that channel and no one went middle from Lubu, so they were able to get that knight. Now they're not going to be able to get much out of this knight because they denied that knight to Lubu. 
which is almost just as important as Lulu had. Lulu had 10. They had 10. And they didn't. And Knights didn't. It was beautiful, wonderful victory on the side of the Knights. Alright, and with that, let's take a look at our talents here. We have Blessed Shield from Tohana, Shadowstock from Tirane, Commander Odin from Tigus. We have Angela, Carmen from Imperius, and Water Elemental from Jaina. I like the Water Elemental. Um, I especially like Water Elemental against Lucio and Jumpa. If you take level 16 talent that lets you in the of the places, pop that Water Elemental, get them rooted, and those, those uh, sticky characters can be a little less sticky. And you can, uh, you can almost do the initial beta Jaina stuff. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. But pretty darn close. Close enough for you. And we have, this time we have no high five. We have sound barrier. I definitely understood the high five last game. There was so many things that needed to be cleansed. And Lucifer does not have a cleanse. So that really is his only cleanse option. Um, besides just getting people out of there super fast. Alright, and uh, we have Riptire, of course, from Junkrat, Isolation from Dehaka, Lightning Cut from Diablo, and Mana Mana from Mana. Um, so the Lightning Cut uh, is going to get anyone starting that Lightning Cut is going to take a ton of damage from Mana. job out here from Knights. Sorry, you guys, your names just got completely shortened. And they're going to be able to get the next Dragonite, and this time, they're going to be able to do something about it. Lucio and Jumpat down here trying super hard to get this point back from Johanna. She did before, she did stand on that point for a long time. I love the attempt from Nubia Papa. Um, that team was on point for a little bit.
Interestingly enough, they would do them. Pretty good defense. They were able to get that fort on the bottom even considering that they've had the Dragonite and the Odin. Odin's a wonderful siege tool. Another chance to prove yourself worthy. Do not squander it. For my family. I'm gonna stand here on the bottom. And she actually got more than this paper, not the other one. But she got a quick tire coming out. Looking for that Titan. Okay, we got it. We got some kind of chasing him from the moon. The shadow cycle goes down. We're going to go back up. Water elemental is top. This time she's still in that Diablo. But she is starting at the bottom. And look at all of that damage that Titan is doing to that Diablo. Diablo! Now safely. Streak wing is on the side of it, but Kosham Kiddish gets scooped from the junk rat and takes it down. It's a 1v1. She takes down right now, but look at Vayner. Look at Vayner going on that. What I loved out of that fight was the lightning breath came down and they just wailed. Tibbis just wailed on him. He was like, opportunity? Yes, please. The Hakka rotates up top using his bow. Look at that! The Kiro from the Raynor keeps them off of the Jugrat and they're able to get the second they're able to get the Dragonite. Beautiful use of abilities here. sealed the deal right there. He threw that trap down. I was like, no, guys. Uh, this camp is going to be up for a minute, so they're just going to have to take what they can get. And look at that. Top lane is getting pushed in quite hard. It looks like a yummy snack bar. <laughs> yummy snack bar with experience. Maybe we'll clear that up. And once again, this is looking like a pretty even game. We got one extra fort down on the side of knights and a group of them, but otherwise the buildings are pretty even. Pretty even. My beloved is gone, but his power remains. Control the shrines and make use of it. And they are looking, yep, they are looking to get this keep. They want, they want this keep. 
My husband Alex is dead. Remind this kingdom of his strength. Now he's going to use this on um, a here on the bottom and first keep up again I love you like this going now 20 20 from thank you and then let the shield goes out onto the jump rack with the beautiful stamina barrier but it's just not enough and a hook on phoenix taking so much damage from that jump rack passive Marco Chaz oh look at that look at you can feel it you can feel how he doesn't have enough souls He's so close too. He almost has used at least 20 more and then he won't have enough souls, but it may be too late. So I want to see, okay, Dehaka, Blue Dehaka team's core is fantastic under attack. job here. Burrowed up to the top as soon as they saw that they were going to lose that. Making sure to grab that and preventing them from getting that Dragonite for just a little bit longer. will give them time to get their teammates back up and be able to defend. The most interesting thing right now is that, oh, okay, so we do see Imperius in the middle. Well, I don't know if they know that he's there, but they come up to this point of time to stuff it and get a little more time. But Imperius and Jaina are working up here, so they need to get out. They need to get out now. Diablo is not going to be up for another five seconds. Double Impale coming down, and they are able to get out of there. Did they buy enough time? It looks like they may have bought enough time actually for their teammates here. Junkrat is the master of poking. Blue team's core is under attack. Put Tyre goes down on to take a take to the amount of damage. Isolation goes down on two targets, Imperius and Pikes in the back, so they're just gonna walk them and try to get that off. It's like when you're, I don't know, blind or something, playing Tender of Taylor, they're fine to eat. And Taylor goes down, and we have a follow back to the lair, and Soundberry goes down, keeping him fine, keeping him okay. Put his mark onto the Jahak, and he's taking so much damage, look at that! Oh my god! Everybody else is trying to do it! I can't even talk anymore because it's a triple, it's a team wipe, but did you see that junk rat? The thing keeping them safe there was that Johanna indestructible and just blocking that damage to that Jaina. But now they're going to be able to get this Dragon Knight and they have this camp pushing. The fire comes for you. the best thing in the world. Um, Oh, but yeah, they're going to rotate down to the bottom here. Now, the thing that is interesting is that the bottom one is the one that um, Lubu has. So if they're able to get this team, it's just going to even out that kind of pressure. But they have a good chunk of time here. They have at least 20 seconds in order to make something happen. So I think they have a the Blue team's core is taking shred damage. right through this. And look at this. This Dragon Knight is starting to shred. I think they're going to be able to get this. No problem. Blue team has destroyed a foot. Red team's core is under attack. I don't really know what the fuck is. Just enough to go back. BBC has to go to bed. He has to go to bed. No! You should have let him win so he could go to bed. Oops. Now my quest. 
Alright. <laughs> Alright. This sounds good. So let me get this next one back up and we will be back. All right, here we go for game number three. This is a super close series. So here we go. You're mine now. So Sky Temple was picked by, oh, I can switch over to my drop screen here. Sky, Sky Temple was picked. So here we go. Once again, we have a new rock band. We're going to have another Kel'Thas band. Diablo crew. Makes sense. 
Ooh, and this time we have the Lucio Bam. Some respect there. Johanna has been a key player in all of these games so far, but Dahaka, Dahaka, and Falstad. Hmm, okay, we have lots of gold. But Kelfast is able to make it through, so he is taken. What are we going to see Alan Hicks on this time? The wait is Ooh, over. Ooh, and that Cassia didn't get banned, so they took it. I'm excited because it's gotten banned twice. So I'm excited to see the Cassia play. By the guy that really wants to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, it's noon here in Japan. And usually noon is when all of my friends start saying goodnight to me, so. Makes sense. Right, we, oh, we, now we have an Artanis span. Super interesting bands here. Maybe for the Cassia? Oh, yeah, because you have Johanna and Cassia. I don't know. At least no Lily bands, though. No little bear bands. Okay, so we have a Zygarde sporting a sexy skin, and Babbit Penguin really, really likes that Jaina. Not really getting com. com Contested on it though, so that's good. Ready for adventure! <laughs> 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 to the scourge! <laughs> he told you you should have banned that Lily, but you picked Artemis. Oh, that is too good. That is too funny. Okay, so we need our main tank here for Crafty Devil. We have a lot of tanks, man. My gosh. I'm guessing maybe a Murden. Murden is the first one that kind of comes to mind here. Um, oh, ah, it's bring the mega death. Um. So the good thing about ETC is that they don't actually have a lot of interrupt. Um, Kelfoss's gravity laps is a good interrupt, and um, Johanna's ultimate multi shield if she's not in the mosh pit, as well as unstoppable. All right, well this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to see this Cassia considering she's been banned twice. So let's get into it. All right, last game of the night. I would prepare for your we have on the battle. blue team, Reborn Knight Black. We have Crafty Devil on ETC, the Pie Maker on Falstad, Souls Kiddo on Rhaegar, Rabbit Penguin on Jaina, and Hooked on Phoenix on Dahaka. Give me some future past buddy hype for Reborn Knight Black. Ten, I gotta know if seven, Reborn Knights read if they're friends or just they have two teams. Alright! 
And on the red side, we have VDZ on Cassia, Macro Ta on Johanna Bandit on Kelfos, Ellen Hicks on Arthas, and Streak Wing on the cute little Lily. Give me some noise for Lubu! Past future bunny hype! I'm assuming you guys are hyping in your heads, so it's all good. Ah, look at that spray! I have no idea what's going on in that spray. These teams complaining about it being late, and I'm just complaining about the fact that I want lunch. I want some lunch. I love the ETC initiation. And yeah. Ooh, so we have Seraph's hair from Cassia. She is looking to blind people. She is a blinding beacon of love and light. And Falstad went winning there. Looking to uh, steal King's Day. The spray getting dropped in the bush. No one can see the spray in the bush. and the solo lane on a typically not solo lane hero here. This one though. Okay. I'm, I'm really excited to see a few things in this game. Um, I'm excited to see the- Look at it has a Yoshi spray! Wow. Wow. I'm excited to see the globals from False Shadow and Dehaka, and I'm also excited to see this Cassia. It's really, really useful. Also a very cute video skin. Oh yeah. Um Okay, so they were dropping this camp really early. Um this camp as well, which I like that because it's gonna it's gonna be respawn in four minutes, so it'll be back up by the second shrine phase for sure. Ooh, BBC is getting targeted and beautiful tongue out there and beautiful calls also. BBC goes down, but she's actually dropping it. Pretty much. And every rest of the team going up, but they're just not entirely the safe. Poor last. Not in time, but last. Never would you stop. Alright, Nipper goes down. Look at that. And there, I love this yellow, where we put the ETCs in that bush. We're going to slide in. Let's take this into the same thing. She's going to back up. Bandit is getting very low on that. She's going to go and get some more, or he's not going to be very useful. That mana is not useful. I mean, you'd rather have them just back and get mana, come back, and be good to go. Oh, but we have it well. Okay, I understand now. Alright, ETC is in the middle. Falstad is keeping up the double rotation. Oh, is it double rotation? I can't really tell. He's just moving to the top of the I love this little stack. Four, five people are up top here for Animal Line. Five people are up top here for Lubu, but um, Falstad and Dehaka are pushing up those lanes, and so the XP on the side of Lubu and Dehaka is just a little bit higher. Right, I, I want like, to get some of these in there. Face him. Meanwhile, let's go. And he does like to slide in and then boot them back, so that makes a lot of sense. Alright, so pretty even here once again. So they're looking for this, but oh beautiful, I love it. They're going beautiful waiting for it. He waited for him to pop down that um I see I see. Howling glass, that's it. Howling howling glass, but um Okay, so Alan is taking a lot of damage here, so we need to have this slide of 15 years of no, 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 there it goes right there, but the gravity left went down to stop in mid-slide. Alan Hicks is able to, able to get out of here. And they're looking to come in on this camp. They do not want to give this up a fight. Nope, no, it's okay, I think they're just not going to fight. Uh, the Hawk Earth. 
does a lot of damage and so he has to be Look at this though, they are aiming for that well and that is a dead well! No matter what else happens, that well is dead and that is a fantastic advantage for the next giant phase popping up here. The light of the sun grows within the temple. Soon they shall pass in my memory. And look at this, you can start feeling that global now. They are almost 10, and Jahaka and Falsad can Guardians, when they're at any time. But these I like this from Lugu. They are not 10, so they are rotating up here. They are going the shrine, and they are going to get this. This sh the temple is probably going to be able to get two forts here. <clears throat> but they are getting something out of what may have not been. But Reborn Knights is going for the boss here. But the guy is getting the tension a lot of damage. Stupid tornado. I can feel the, the hate from that tornado. <clears throat> Alright, so they let go of the temple. Look at this, I love this. They are just taking everything. They know where they are. They know they're on the boss. They know that they're on the temple, so why not? Take that to say that and turn it to a small advantage, and Lubu is doing a fantastic job of that. The hack is gonna come down here and get the last shots. They weren't moving that much. The, the nice thing is, is that those shots are gonna go to the top of the no what? So they focus on something that did more damage and did end up in more than a Now they're coming in to take this camp. Just not, they're just not satisfied with their camp. They need to camp. Johanna's gonna be able to, the Johanna is gonna find this though, so I feel like we're going to have our first team over to my dear beautiful Valkyrie down onto the Jada, and she is taken out. Ooh, oh, the this energy there. With a nice four man mosh pit with a gust from Falstead. I feel like you flew in and then this auto so, but the Valkyrie, the nice, nice, nice Valkyrie there. Soon uh, they shall pass. Look at this, they are starting to rotate down on them. Here. But five people are going to get like a pocket and I can at any time. Anytime they can get a ice ice bolt onto the chat here. So they have a bunch of ice bolt. But the thing that I love, the thing that I'm loving about this is they do not uselessly use their globals. Falstad rotated down without flying, and now he's rotating back up. Is there a reason for him to fly? No, he's not a reason for him to fly. He wants to save that fly and he wants to save that girl for when a team fight will be so he can get in there and at any point. And Johanna is taking this top one. Johanna is getting that bottom one, so we're going to be able to do that for him. This part is that full look, so the temple is really not going to do that much more. Um, whereas the top temple is going to do quite a lot. Well, it's actually not going to do that a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's going to get that top, the, the wall. It's going to get the wall on a keep, which is more important than a 
Voila. No. But they realize that they do not have time in order to get up there and do anything about it, so they come back and take what they have. And it looks like this the fatigue is showing. Magic of the temple sleeps until I choose otherwise. I like the friendly banter from the teens here. It's nice to see. This is our sleepy, sleepy game tournament. Curse you, Blizzard, and you're not letting us into the next season. Valkyrie goes out, but hits nothing. Boss is gonna be up in about 20 seconds, so we're a little preemptively coming here. Ugh. Too. These teams are transforming their er, transporting their yawns over time and space. Alright, back is up. Now, Reborn Knights is 16. They're very far ahead. Or they're levels ahead of them, so I don't know. on the East Coast.
the light of the sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall bask in my glory. Tail. I like talking the mini map and looking at them converge onto this corner. The red They're so poked, poked out here, and the thing is, is that as soon as they come back, somebody can just go down to that side. Although, I don't know if they're going to be able to get Look at them, they're just cutting through that cord! And that's GG! <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie, that game made me a little sad. You could start, you could, uh, you could see they were a little tired. The first two games were fantastic though. And uh, you guys, troopers. You guys are absolute troopers. So I'm gonna see if they want an interview. I'm thinking they might not want an interview because it's super late, but we'll, we'll see if they wanna do what. Um, maybe just like one question. So let me, let me see if they want to do that and I will be right back.